All right, have and have not fans. Now, just a fan question here. A lot of people have been bringing this up since the last episode, and it's whether or not do you think Mitch has lingering feelings still for Candace? I think that it goes without saying that's an astounding yes. I mean, it, it seems obvious that he is kind of aware of Candace being a flirt, being able to get almost any man she wants. I mean, but jumping all the way to president elect, that's a whole new level. But I mean, just to kind of do a brief, quick review, those two did go out when they were younger, but I don't know if Benny was ever aware of it. I'm very curious as to whether or not that's the, um, the case there. I do believe Mitch did tell Sandy and Vinny that, that they've known each other since high school, if I'm not mistaken. So maybe it's a matter of, um, you know, Mitch and Candace going out when she was on the street because I do believe Candace will say in the upcoming episode I've been on my own since I was about 17 years old and with Candace canonically being about three years older than Benny one could assume that Candace was on her own right as she was finishing up high school and I assume she finished high school due to the fact that she is in law school so I feel like um Benny would not know those two were together. And I do feel like, you know, Mitch pretty much never really introduced Candace to his family. That was established that, yes, they did go out, but they never continued the relationship because Mitch, I, I think it was like two main reasons Mitch never introduced Candace to the Malones. Number one, he didn't want anyone to know that he was a Malone. Two, his family, as we've seen over the past season or so, doesn't well they for a lack of a better phrase don't seem to like or trust black people so mitch being with a black girl probably wouldn't make him a family favorite not to mention you know on one half it's like well remember he doesn't even want to be part of the malone family business to begin with so what should it matter but on the other half it's like well the malones being the malones if he continued seeing her there's no telling what may have happened I don't know if the circumstances would be different now because it seems like Mama Rose has an unspoken respect for Candace uh, just because of the fact that because of her actions, Warlock was taken down and she owes her a favor. But can you imagine how awkward it would have been if Mama Rose, or excuse me, if Candace knew that Mama Rose was Mitch's grandmother? How interesting the interaction between those two would have been back in season two when Candace was held hostage because maybe the torture that she went through wouldn't have been simply because Jim Cryer wanted the Malones to spook Candace, but things might have been taken to a new level if Mama Rose was aware that her grandson Mitch was dating a black girl and just so happens that Candace Young was that black girl. So in a negative way, Mama Rose could have looked at Candace as a stereotype for all black people. It was like, yeah, I get it. Okay, you black people can't be trusted. So not only did you break my Mitch's heart, because you broke up with him. But on top of that, looking at what you're doing now with Jim Cryer, who's almost like a son to me. And, you know, she never really says that. But during season two, when Mama Rose and um, Jim interacted, it really did seem like a mother son relationship there that she might say, now you're hurting Jim Cryer as well. Sleeping with him, having affairs, costing him money and a chance to be the, um, the governor. We're taking you down now. So in a way, it's almost like, you know, how, Jim couldn't control Mama Rose when it came to Mitch being shot at. It would have been interesting because Candace would have been all hers without him knowing it in terms of those two having an indirect past relationship. So, yeah, see what I mean when it comes to me writing this show? It would be freaking awesome, wouldn't it? But in any case, I, I think it is clear that Mitch still cares for Candace due to the fact that he went above and beyond in order to get warlock arrested which actually made things worse for candace but you know he's even you know impressed by her ability so i don't think that it is not impossible that he still has feelings for her, which could lead to the mitch and sandy fight i mean we don't know for sure but these two do look banged up at some point in the near future during season seven i believe but sandy and Mitch might fight about something, whether it's in regards to Benny or could it be in regards to Candace? Who knows? Let's say if Charles does kick Candace to the curb, she has no other love interest. Her and Mitch get close. Maybe Sandy tries to swing his shot because it does seem like he's intrigued by her more and more. But then, you know, to defend her honor, Mitch fights and 
That'll be interesting. So with that being said, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below on Mitch and Candace. Subscribe to the channel and I'll talk to you soon. Congratulations on making it to the end of this video. If you like what you just saw, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. Or if you have anything you would like to add to the video, make sure to leave your thoughts in the comment section below. If you want to keep up with me on social media, go to the description box. All of my links for social media are right there. Also, if you feel like you would like to donate to the channel, make sure to click on the link to PayPal. Any amount helps, a dollar, five dollars, twenty dollars. As a full-time YouTuber, any support from my fans really does mean a lot to me. Finally, make sure to hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification icon. That way you're kept up to date on any new content I post to the channel. Once again, thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll talk to you in the next video.